It's Sunday, 12th August, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Despite a respite from rain and falling water levels in major dams, Kerala remained on alert yesterday with over 60,000 people displaced in four districts. The Met Department has forecast heavy to very heavy rainfall in most places in Idiki, Ernakulam, Palakkad, Vayanad, Malappuram, Korikod, Kannur, and Kasargod districts over the next three days, putting them on red alert. The state government yesterday put the death toll in the recent spell of rain at 31, with five people reported to be missing. As many as 60,000 people have been accommodated in 513 relief camps. Around 1,500 houses were partially damaged and another 101 completely destroyed. There was a massive loss of crops and property, an official press note said. Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan announced ex gratia of Rs 4 lakh to the next of kin of those who had lost their lives in drain-related incidents. After a month-long gap, the Sri Lankan Navy has arrested 27 country boat fishermen, including 22 from the coastal village of Nambutale in the district, along with their four vessels for illegally fishing in Sri Lankan waters. The arrested persons who had set out for fishing in country boats two days ago from a jetty in Pudukotai district were fishing in the high seas in northern Palk Bay in the evening when the Sri Lankan Navy apprehended them. Protesting against the arrests and demanding the immediate release of the fishermen, their family members, accompanied by members of the fishing fraternity, visited the collectorate and urged the officials to take up the issue with the union and state governments. Over the last few years, a covert right-wing Hindutva group put as many as 22 Karnataka youths through training in the use of firearms so they could carry out assassination of intellectuals. The nearly year-long probe by a special investigation team or SIT of the state police into the murder of journalist Gauri Lankesh found. Among these 22 youths was a man who allegedly shot and killed Lankesh at the door of her Bengaluru home on September 5, 2017, police sources said. Investigations in the Lankesh case have revealed that the group's recruits attempted to disrupt the screening of the film Padmavat and trigger communal tension in Belagavi last November. The SIT probe found in their possession a list of 34 people, mostly writers and rationalists from around the country who had been identified as possible targets for assassinations. The Karnataka State Forensic Science Laboratory has concluded that both Gauri Lankesh and Kannada scholar Professor M. M. Kalbergi, 77, were killed with the same 7.65mm country-made pistol. V. S. Naipaul, the Trinidad-born Nobel laureate, whose precise and lyrical writing in such novels as A Bend in the River and A House for Mr. Biswas, and brittle misanthropic personality made him one of the world's most admired and contentious writers, died yesterday in his London home, his family said. He was 85 years old. Vidyadar Suraj Prasad Naipaul Vidya, to those who knew him, was born on August 17, 1932 in Trinidad, a descendant of impoverished Indians shipped to the West Indies as bonded labourers. In 1950, Naipaul was awarded one of the few available government scholarships to study in England and he left his family to begin his studies in English literature at University College, Oxford. Naipaul received a knighthood in 1990 and in 2001 was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. The Supreme Court's direction to the district administration to seal, within two days, 27 of the 39 biggest resorts in the Sigur Plateau, mostly in the Bokapuram, Mavanalla and Varai Totem areas, just below the slopes of the Kalahati, 
is being seen by conservationists and wildlife enthusiasts as a long overdue step to preserve the Nilgiris Biosphere Reserve. When revenue officials in the Nilgiris ordered the management of Glanton Inn, one of the 27 illegal resorts in the buffer zone of the Mudumalai Triga Reserve, to pull down hoardings outside the hotel two days ago, it was the culmination of an almost eight-year-long legal battle waged by conservationists to preserve one of the most important elephant corridors in the world. Twelve more resorts have been told to submit proof to the district administration that they have the requisite permission to function. Failure to do so will result in their closure as well. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 77.10 rupees per litre and diesel for 68.54 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 80.09 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.39 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 80.04 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.35 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 84.54 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.76 rupees per litre.